living in Justin Trudeau's Canada, it's a never, it's a never ending hallucinogenic surreal dream. <laughs> it, Ju Justin Trudeau's mode of governance is to top each scandal with a bigger scandal. Mm -hmm. And he's really good at that. And you might say, well, what's wrong with Canadians? And I can tell you what's wrong with Canadians is that Canadians have a very difficult choice to make. They can either wake up and realize that under the jurisdiction of this preposterous narcissist, we've compromised virtually every institution of integrity in Canada, which is a really bitter pill to, pill to swallow, or we can assume that everyone who's pointing that out is some sort of conspiracy theorist. And it's way easier for Canadians to follow, to swallow the latter story than to actually contend with the true ramifications of the former story. Now, unfortunately, the former story is true. Mm. So that's okay. <laughs> but it's what is extraordinary? Out. What's Trudeau extraordinary isn't about? Last long. I mean, what's extraordinary right now? You've been ordered. I don't know even know if that's the right word to use to take social media training by a Canadian court mm. because you posted tweets criticizing the transgender and body positivity <laughs> movements. My first question is, oh my do God. you intend to do this? Oh, well, I've got all sorts of evil plans on that front. I mean, at the moment, we've appealed the decision of the court in Canada to allow the college to proceed with their re-education of me. Now, the re-education, um, what are the criteria of the re-education program is that I'm re required to sit down with a social media expert, whatever the hell that is, because that's <laughs> not a genuine, that's not a genuine occupation. I don't even know how you define it. And I'm That's supposed right. to also, as a clinician, be very careful about how I allow myself to be educated, let's say. I'm supposed to educate myself according to the, the tenets of scientific investigation, for example, or rec require, re recognize clinical practice, and social media expert doesn't fit into those categories. Anyways, I'm supposed to sit down with a social media expert, and then I'm supposed to modify my attitude, however I'm supposed to do that, until they're satisfied mm -hmm that I've changed. And, you know, that's not that likely, as far as I can tell, because I haven't changed since I was three years old, really, in some core elements. Jordan, it's also preposterous, isn't it? I mean, the idea that in a modern democratic society, which Canada purports to be, the idea they take one of its great thinkers, uh, you know, clinical psychologist, like you're someone who literally is one of the smarter thinkers and brains in the country, and think that they can get a social media expert, whatever that is, to re-educate you about views that you honestly hold about some of the insanity of the gender debate or the insanity of the body positivity debate. The idea that somehow you're in the wrong and you have to be re-educated, that, in a way, is a form of fascism, isn't it? I mean, it's the kind of Nazism that someone like Trudeau would profess to hate most in the world, and yet he's encouraging the demonization of you for challenging the insanity. Yeah. It's the world of evil clowns, man. It's, it's yeah. preposterous in the extreme. Oh, my God. He's right. Some of he is right. He's right, man. He's right. He is right. You know, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's happening with the Canadian government, but it is very, very, very bad to see these kind of things happening to one of the greatest minds of our generation and, and, and uh, okay what's happening to my mic I don't know anyway okay this is this is better okay so the thing is they 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 they, they, they he need he needs media training how why he he is uh, he, like if you ask anybody in the entire world about Jordan Peterson he's gonna be oh he this is a brilliant 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 dude and uh, and very good professor and psychiatrist and like he is i don't know if he's like he's a psychiatrist psychiatry right he's professor in psychiatry. so so he's very good and all the people know and they vouch for him but the canadian government well nah nah he needs he needs media training Whoa, whoa, no, you need to be evacuated from the government. You, you need to be, you need to leave, you know, because, because once you monitor a mind, like any mind, 
this is this is some sort of like like this is a collapsing of a general of an entire country but once you monitor a great mind this is not only bad for the country it's bad it's bad for the generation to come like okay we, well we we need to be sure that you're gonna think the way that we think and on on what matter on the transgender ideas it's so stupid it's so stupid and that should not be working that's not that, 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 that's that's not how it works but as he said this is this is the 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 the, uh, the <laughs> crazy era of of the social media and this is so bad for for canada i really i really wish that they could <laughs> they could not do that because they they're going to look very bad they're going to look very bad and they it's not going to be good for the country it's not going to be good for the country it's not going to be good for the world because you are monitoring one of the greatest minds in the world just because like you don't like what he's saying and by the way what he's saying is true like if you if you ask 95% of the world right now they're going to tell you yeah there's two genders and that's it not in between not all these kind of crazy things so what because and he this is an opinion this is his opinion this is free speech this is a free speech world right and they're monitoring him how, how are you going to convince your own people that this is a free speech country and you're monitoring the greatest mind in your country like if you ask me what is canada famous for i will certainly 100 percent go for jordan peterson that's it i don't know any other canadian i really don't know so this is this is the most influential person on this on your country on, on right now and you're monitoring him you give him media training not only this like okay he he needs to teach class but he wouldn't he needs to teach a class no there's somebody who should be with him so he he so he doesn't fall into some mistakes <laughs> like dude we are living in crazy world this is crazy town man and the clowns are in the power position ah uh, we need to stop it we need to stop it but i don't know how i really don't know how yeah by the way like like my my thoughts on on peterson like i really i really love like to to see him someday or like to to see one of his luxury lives live you know it's it's one of my dreams he's he's great mind you know anyway this is the video for today guys hopefully you enjoyed bye